Hello students. Today we are going to learn the poem How the Little Kite Learned to Fly which is written by Catherine Pyle from the first unit inspiration reading B of your book Flight. First of all, let us know what the word inspiration means. In Hindi, it means prerna. This poem is really very inspirational. When we go through the poem, we see how we get inspired when left to ourselves to decide to do something. How the environment of our surrounding inspire us to think, to try and to do. Every success of our life depends on our attempt to work. If we stop trying to do, we will never reach to our destination. We will never achieve even the smallest thing of our life. In every stage of our life, we are inspired by someone or something or by some incident that occurs in our life. Inspiration keeps us going on ahead without stopping. No doubt, hurdles come at every pace. But then, inspiration and self-dedication breaks them and we move on towards our goal. This is the way toward success as we will see in this poem how the little kite learned to fly. Now let's go through the poem line by line to understand the real inspiration that boosts us to go our way. The poem how the little kite learned to fly starts with a line. I never can do it, the little kite said. The very first line shows a feeling of great fear of failure, a fear that's stopping to try and creating a hurdle in the attempt. Now, it is a normal thing that when we find people around us, who have reached great heights of success and we are just lagging far behind them, we automatically get depressed, we automatically get frightened that we won't be able to reach up to them and so we even think of leaving to try to do something. In the same way here, the first line of the poem, we see that a little kite, a small kite is saying, I never can do it. The little kite said, as he looked at the others high over his head, the little kite is lying on the ground and when he sees above, he finds a number of kites flying over his head and he says in a very fearful way, that he can never do it. He says that I can never reach up to the height of the sky. I know I should fall if I tried to fly. The little kite says that he will fall down if he tried to fly. That means this shows his utter fear of flying or trying to fly because he is frightened that he will fall down. That means before he makes an attempt to fly, he gives up saying that he would fall if he tried. Try, said the big kite, only try. So there is also a big kite there with a small kite who is trying to uh, encourage the small kite to fly. And he says to the small kite, try, only try. He is just trying to encourage the small kite and telling her, telling the small kite to fly, to try to fly. 
or I fear you never will learn at all. The big kite here has a different kind of fear in him. He says to the small kite that if you never try, if you will not try to fly, I fear that you will never learn at all. This line shows that if we do not make an attempt in our life, if we do not make an attempt to do something, then we will never be able to achieve our goal. We will never be able to do any kind of work. But the little kite said, I am afraid I will fall. That means here, the little kite is engrossed with a great fear. He is so fearful of falling down before he has made any attempt. And he says, I am afraid I will fall. The big kite nodded. Ah, oh, well, goodbye, I am off. Now, after trying a lot to encourage the small kite, the big kite says that now he is leaving the small kite and going off into the sky and he says, Goodbye, I am off. And he rose toward the tranquil sky. And saying, Goodbye, the big kite left the small kite to itself on the ground and he himself rose high up into the tranquil, into the peaceful sky where other kites were flying. Now, as the big kite rose into the tranquil sky, the little kite thought of trying to himself. When he finds no one around himself, he feels a little bit encouraged. The fear in him has now gone uh, away a little bit and he says that he should try to see whether he can fly high or not. Then the little kite's paper stirred at the sight and trembling he shook himself free for flight. These two lines say that though the little kite had a fear of falling down, yet when he sees the other kites flying high up into the sky, when he finds the big kite leaving him and going up high into the sky, he gets a little bit of a little bit encouragement, a self-encouragement to himself and trembling, that means with a fearful heart, he shook himself, he made himself a little bit relaxed to fly into the sky for a free flight and then first whirling and frightened. So for the first time when he tried to fly, instead of going right up into the air, he whirls, he moves round and round and this moving or this whirling shows the fear that is in his heart, then braver grown, then when he sees that he could go round and round into the air without falling down, a little bit of strength comes into his heart and he grows a little bit brave. Up, up he rose through the air alone and then when he finds that he could whirl round into the air, he feels that he can even rise up and he rises up and up into the air alone till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily. And when he is rising up into the air, the big kite that has already left it and gone high up into the sky looks down to find that the little kite is rising steadily into the air. Then how? The little kite thrilled with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side. Now when the little kite tried to fly into the sky, it succeeded and it reached to the place where the big kite was and he sailed with the big kite into the sky and he felt so thrilled, he felt so joyful, he felt so happy and that too with a pride. This pride came into the heart of the little kite because he had tried and after trying he had been successful in going up into the sky. So this success makes him thrilled with pride and he sails happily side by side with the big kite. 
while far below he could see the ground and the boys like small spots moving around. So these two lines tell us that while the small kite was not encouraged and he was frightened to fly up, he didn't even try as long as the big kite was with her. While far below he could see the ground and the boys like small spots moving around. Now when he has left the ground and gone high up into the sky, what he finds? The boys who were looking big, who were flying the kites. Now from the top of the sky, they are looking like small spots. That means success has taken the small kite high into the sky, higher up into the sky and from there now he also could find that the people who were left behind him looked like spots moving around. They rested high in the quiet air. Now the small kite with the other kites rested in the quiet air that means it has reached to its destination high up into the sky and now he is resting with the other kites that means he is flying with the other kites into the air and only the birds and clouds were there. The birds and clouds here refer to the people who have reached to a certain point of success in their life and the small kite has also joined with them. So, he is very happy to be in the air, in the sky and now the birds and clouds they, who are the symbols of success and who are the symbols of people who had tried to achieve a goal, who had tried to make an attempt to move forward towards the goal with those people, with those people, this small kite is there. Oh, how happy I am, the little kite cried. So when the little kite finds himself up into the air with the other kites flying among the clouds and birds, so he feels very happy. The happiness that the success has given to him, the happiness that the encouragement given to him, the happiness that he achieved when he found himself to be successful in his attempt and all because I was brave and tried. And a feeling comes into the heart of the little kite that he had been successful only because he had been brave and he tried. This shows that if we are self-motivated in life, if we do not fear from those people who have already reached to a height of success and we try to move our own way, we try to go on the way of our own destination, success will surely come to us and when we reach to a point of success, we will be very happy, very happy, very joyous, very encouraged and all this will be the result of our attempts that we had done to reach our goal, to reach our destination. So this poem is a very inspirational poem written by Catherine Pyle. We never can do it, the little kite said. Main kabhi bhi nahi kar sakta, choti patang ne kaha. As he looked at the others high over his head, जैसे ही उसने बाकियों को अपने सर के ऊपर उड़ते हुए देखा। I know I should fall if I try to fly। मुझे मालूम है कि अगर मैं उड़ने की कोशिश किया, तो मैं नीचे गिर जाऊँगा। Try, said the big kite. Only try। कोशिश, सिर्फ कोशिश करो। ऐसा बड़े पतंग ने कहा। Or I fear you never will learn it. नहीं तो मुझे डर है कि तुम कभी भी नहीं सीख पाओगे। But the little kite said, I am afraid I will fall। लेकिन छोटी पतंग ने कहा, नहीं मुझे डर है मैं गिर जाऊँगा। The big kite nodded, Ah well, goodbye, I am off, and he rose toward the tranquil sky. 
बड़े पतंग ने फिर अपना सिर हिलाया और कहा आ वेल बहुत अच्छा गुड बाय मैं तो चला और वो शांत आकाश की ओर उड़ चला देन द लिटिल काइट पेपर स्टर्ड एट द साइट फिर ऊपर के दृश्य को देखकर छोटी पतंग का पेपर थोड़ा फड़फड़ाया एंड ट्रेम्बलिंग ही शुक हिम सेल्फ फ्री फॉर फ्लाइट और अपने आप को कांपते हुए उसने हिलाया ताकि वो एक स्वतंत्र उड़ान आकाश की ओर भर सके फर्स्ट वर्लिंग एंड फ्राइटन जब पहली बार उसने कोशिश किया तो वो वर्ल हुआ गोल गोल घूमा और फिर डरते हुए देन ब्रेवर ग्रोन फिर उसमें थोड़ी हिम्मत आई अप अप ही रोज थ्रू द एयर अलोन फिर ऊपर ऊपर और ऊपर वो हवा में तैरने लगा टिल द बिग काइट लुकिंग डाउन कुड सी द लिटिल वन राइजिंग स्टेडली तब तक जब बड़ी पतंग ने उसे धीरे धीरे ऊपर आकाश की ओर आते देखा देन हाउ द लिटिल काइट थ्रिल्ड विथ प्राइड और जैसे ही आकाश में पहुंचा छोटा पतंग गर्व से फूला नहीं समा रहा था एज ही सेल्ड विद बिग काइट साइड बाय साइड जैसे ही वो बड़े पतंग के आसपास मंडराने लगा बड़े पतंग के आसपास उड़ने लगा तो उसे बहुत गर्व महसूस हुआ वाइल फार बिलो ही कुड सी द ग्राउंड जबकि नीचे उसने जब जमीन की ओर देखा एंड द बॉयज लाइक स्मॉल स्पॉट मूविंग अराउंड छोटे बच्चे छोटे छोटे धप्पों की तरह उसे दिखाई दे रहे थे दे रेस्टेड हाई इन द क्वाइट एयर और ये सारे पतंग छोटे पतंग के सहित हवा में स्थिर उड़ रहे थे एंड ओनली द बर्ड्स एंड क्लाउड्स वेर देर और इन पतंगों के साथ सिर्फ पक्षी और बादल साथ में थे ओ हाउ हैपी आई एम द लिटिल काइट क्राइड छोटा पतंग बहुत जोर से खुशी से चिल्लाया ओ हाउ हैपी आई एम मैं आज कितना खुश हूँ एंड ऑल बिकॉज आई वॉज ब्रेव एंड ट्राइड और ये सिर्फ इसलिए हुआ क्योंकि मैं थोड़ा हिम्मत दिखाया और मैंने कोशिश की तो इस कविता के माध्यम से कैथरीन पाइल ने हमें ये बतलाया कि किस प्रकार कोशिश ही हमें कामयाबी की ओर ले जा सकती है हमारे मन में भले ही कितना भी डर हो हमसे आगे पहुंच गए सफल लोगों का भय रास्ते में आने वाले बाधाओं से जो हमारे मन में भय होता है उन सब भय को तोड़कर जब तक हम कोशिश नहीं करेंगे जब तक हम आत्मनिर्भर नहीं होंगे जब तक कि हम अपने आप को प्रेरित नहीं कर लेंगे तब तक कि हमें सफलता कभी भी हाथ नहीं लग सकती और हमारी कोशिश ही हमें सफलता की ओर ले जा सकती है और सफल होने पर जो खुशी हमें महसूस होगी वो शब्दों में हम उसका बयान नहीं कर सकते तो कैथरीन पाइल के इस पोएम हाउ द लिटिल काइट लर्न टू फ्लाई एक बहुत ही प्रेरणादायक कविता है तुम बच्चों के लिए जो तुम्हें जीवन में कभी भी आगे बढ़ने के लिए प्रेरित कर सकती हैं